In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective way that you can share your e-learning for review. In the past, when it came time to sending out my e-learning for review, my process was essentially that I would upload my e-learning course and email it out to my stakeholders, my subject matter experts, my clients, and then just wait for them to email me back their thoughts and feedback around the individual course slides and so on. Invariably, what would happen is I would get a ton of emails from different people with conflicting messages. I didn't know what slide they were referring to, and I had to sort through that mess of spaghetti myself. Well, the product I want to talk about today is ReviewMyElearning.com. There's a link to it in the description below. Please use the link to let them know that you are coming from my video to their website. I'm going to take you through the process of signing up for an account, uploading your e-learning course, sending it out to your reviewers, and then going through all the feedback that they provide and I'll show you how fantastic a tool this is. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is create a new account by clicking on the sign in, sign up link in the upper right hand corner. So I'm just gonna type in my email address and click on start my free account. So now I need to go over to my email program and look for an email from support at reviewmyelearning.com. So as you can see here, I've received an email from Review My eLearning. Let's take a look at that. And all I need to do is confirm my account. If the link above doesn't work, then you can use the link here down below by copying and pasting it into your browser. So now I'm going to provide my full name and choose a password for ReviewMyELearning.com and go ahead and activate that account. There we go. So I'm all set up now with a free account, I can upload one course for my clients, whoever it is that I wish to share e-learning with to review. So let's go ahead and add a course. So I'm going to click on the add a course link right at the top of the page. So let's simply drag and drop my emergency evacuation course into the drop target here and click create course. Now reviewmyelearning.com is processing your upload. So now a message appears, your course has finished processing. Refresh this page to see it in the list below or click the button to review it now. And as you can see with a free account, I've used up my one e-learning course that I'm allowed to upload for free. But now, of course, I have my one Captivate e-learning course right here. Let's click on the Details button. One of my favorite things about ReviewMyEarning.com is that all of the pages have these little mini tours that uh, allow you to get a little tutorial on how to use this particular page. So before we send invites, uh, we can do some things with the settings. Obviously, we can change the title of the course here. So let's do that right now. We can add some labels to help categorize the course. And we can decide whether we want reviewers to see each other's comments. I don't know about you, but I think there's a huge benefit in being able to see what someone previously has written. Because if you have the same feedback, you don't necessarily need to repeat yourself. Also, too, when there's a disagreement between what needs to change on a particular page, you can affect your decision as to what feedback you provide if you know that perhaps a more senior stakeholder has provided a different or opposing view. You can also require logins. Will reviewers need to log in to see the course? If not, would you like to create a public invite? So we can turn public invite on if we wish and set it up so that anyone with the link can review the course. I'm actually going to require that reviewers log in in this case. If you are working on this course with other developers besides yourself, you can add them here as well so that they can participate in the review process. And here's where we can add course reviewers. 
So let's click the Add Reviewers button. I'm just going to use the comma key to start a new reviewer's email address. And you can include a message to the reviewers. So let's go ahead and add reviewers. They're going to receive an email informing them that they've been added as reviewers of your course. They can follow that link and begin to review the course. Here's an example of what such an email might look like. It's going to inform the reviewer that Paul Wilson has asked you to review the course emergency evacuation and they can follow the link. If the link doesn't work for them, again, they can copy and paste the link into their browser of choice. So when your reviewer follows that link, they'll see something like this and we can begin to review. I've resized my browser because of course this course is a little bit larger than other courses that I've designed, but here we are with the course instruction page. So if I decided to point out that there was a problem with the audio, I could check that and type my comment in here and I can save that comment. In this case here, we could also add some comment about the text. Uh, the feedback will all be captured here and you'll see each individual item as you enter those. So I've returned to my review, my eLearning.com dashboard here, and we can take a look at the details of this course now. You have a choice. You can view your course and comments, and this will launch the course and show you all the comments that you've received so far. So you'll be able to see on the right-hand side of the page that Paul Wilson included a comment about the font being too narrow. And you can also see that, you know, he also felt that the voice selected for this text-to-speech was difficult to understand. And again, you can review the course that way. Another way that you can take a look at the feedback you've received for your course is by exporting an XLS file. So this is a great way if you're used to using Excel to take a look at feedback and keep it all categorized. You'll be able to see the reviewer in this column here. You'll also know exactly which cycle this particular feedback item came from, uh, what slide number, and the title for that slide, but also the message itself will be there, and you can see that it relates to text. You'll see the date and time when the reviewer provided their feedback, as well as a column dedicated to whether or not that slide is approved or not. So I think you can clearly see where the advantages of ReviewMyElearning.com are. First of all, it's completely free to use for a single e-learning course. It keeps all of your feedback in a single place and you know exactly which feedback is for which portion of your e-learning course. And of course, you can set it up so that your reviewers can see each other's feedback and of course, it's all in one place. That's my favorite part about it. So don't forget, if you're interested in trying out ReviewMyElearning.com, follow the link down in the description below, and I hope you enjoy it. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.